guys, Greg C96 here with the December 2016 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. I'm um, doing something a little bit different with this video. You may notice that the game's aspect ratio is a little weird. I'm trying playing in 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which I have to do some little weird things to the video to make it fit normal YouTube. Um, I might start doing 21 by 9 videos. I'm considering it. Not sure yet, but uh, for now, this is my solution. So, um, let's quit talking and let's get into the game. So, I have to create a new world for this. Game mode, hardcore. It's um, large biomes, structures on. It was 2206. And let's see what this world looks like. We're going to be doing 20-ish minutes from here, and it's 3.46, so at about 4.06, we'll be done. Okay. That's nice. Village right away. I'm going to do one thing really quick here. Brightness is 100%. I'm going to go to a wider FOV. It's better. Okay, so we got a village. Let's take a look and see if there's a blacksmith in this village. Okay. Nope, no blacksmith. But I will probably be doing... Um, oh, there's a woodland mansion too. I don't want to get too close to that yet though. Okay, sorry, my sensitivity is a little high right now on this mouse. I'm not used to it. I've been playing a lot of Counter-Strike lately, not Minecraft. So uh, low sense is what I use. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't be like sprinting around like that. That would be smart if I didn't do that. Because, you know, hardcore mode. My hunger will go away a lot faster. So let's start chopping a tree. Normally I'd be really upset if I left the tree floating, but... Oh, why am I lagging? That was weird. Let's bring... Down my render distance, I guess. Oh, I wonder. Shoot, I might have... Uh, my render distance might not be correct. For the challenge. Um, I might not have my render distance correct for the challenge. I might be doing this wrong already. I'm just going to waste some daytime, I guess, and let it be paused. Um... Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Alright, to Mike Deering's YouTube channel. And let me pull up standard rules because I don't want to break the rules already. I've done that once before where I seriously broke the rules pretty early on. Come on, where is it? Actually, if I were smart, I would go to Baker Bell's channel, and there's links to the... There should be links to the thing. I'm wasting some time, I know this, but... Oh, okay. So there is not a render distance standard rule. But I'm going to still lower it because that makes everything run nicer, apparently. I don't know why I'm having issues, though. Whatever. I also probably don't need 500 FPS. Um. Oh, 
Oh wait, I don't, okay, I won't have a work area here. Let's just go to the library. Has a workbench, so. Start simple, I suppose. Okay, I am running out of hunger, so I gotta like actually be careful about that. Okay, fine, screw it. I'm just gonna tear out of the corner of the house. So I've been trying to think of what my strategy for this is going to be. And my strategy does involve finding diamonds. Like I have to find diamonds. Um, because I really, really, really would like to enchant. So I either need to get really lucky with drops. Oh, what am I doing? I need cobble. Just looking to see if there's like a mine area or something already that I can get a head start with. Screw it, I'm going to run a little bit. Is there any nice areas? No, that's all water. Okay, screw it. I'll start right inside the library then. So I've been trying to plan ahead to figure out kind of what my plan for this episode, or what my plan for this challenge is going to be, because I'm not, I'm definitely no professional when it comes to killing the Ender Dragon. That is for sure. Um, even in just regular mode. I think you guys saw the debacle that was me and Tim in work in progress. Can I get down to stone, please? Because I really would like to get resources. I'm going to need coal pretty immediately. Or I'll have to make charcoal. Yeah, that's too dark. Um, That's way too dark. Because I don't want stuff spawning down there. What did I just hear? I'm just going to punch some trees. I'm going to get the furnace made up and I'm going to make some charcoal. Because I don't see any like immediate cliff sides that have coal. I could be wrong. Maybe. I don't know. There's probably something. Uh, my lighting looks a little bit off. Let's see if that fixes it. Yep, my lighting was a little off. Eh, it's still not perfect. Okay, good enough. That's gonna bother me. That's better. Good enough. Whatever. I spent like $30 in total on my whole lighting setup, so I have no right to complain about it not being perfect. Not bad for 30 bucks though. Um... Uh, while this is doing its stuff, I'm gonna probably should try to start breeding some pigs. What did I just do? Let's use that and do that. I think one plank will definitely cook a thing, right? That'll definitely cook the rest. So I'm going to grab some carrots, I suppose, and start breeding pigs. Come on, it's got to have carrots, right? Can't just not have carrots. It's potato. Do we seriously not have carrots? No way. Waste some more hunger by running over here just to find out that no carrots. Oh, come on. 
How do we not have carrots? Is there are carrots over here? Yes, okay, we do have carrots. I want to start breeding pigs. Like, relatively immediately. There's another pig, too. Come on, guys. Come on. You want carrot, don't you? Okay. Whoop. There you go. Oh, shoot. Why did I switch off of it? I suppose let me dig this out first. So I'm just going to turn this house into a little pig area because there's already ladders in it. So, so let me grab those ladders. And the nice thing is the ladders will make it so they'll actually like walk off of this thing. And I can expand that underground if I need to. Where's the fourth guy? Come on. I got your carrots for you. I got your favorite thing. Come on. Okay, come on. One, two. Oh, auto jump must be on. Come on. Okay, I gotta fix that too. Auto jump is off. That was weird then. That was just a weird top of ladder thing then. Oh, come on, you freaking things. <sighs> it's always something. Okay. I only have three carrots. I'm going to get more carrots. That's enough carrots now. That's my pig farm. Um, I guess now I'll make some bread for me real quick. Because food is going to be important here. Which is also why I want to get the pigs and the carrots going real quick. Um, I don't think we'll do a whole lot of mining in this episode. I think we'll save that for episode 2. I think for right now it's going to be getting farming situated. Renewable food sources. That type of stuff is what we'll focus on. Like, I tried to think, think up a strategy, and then life kind of just went to hell this week, and I didn't ever get to finish thinking up a strategy. That's why I'm going in blind. We're coming up on nighttime here. Okay, I'm willing to sprint and use the hunger up to get to this before night. Normally, I would like to save the villagers, but they on their own. Mountain. Let's go to the library. I'm just going to make some basic sticks for now. There's some torches for now. And... 
I'll do one of those that I can like whack stuff, but I can't get in. Cause we're about oh, we're almost through this episode, I guess. Our day cycle's longer now. That was ten minutes, but it only just started being night, and it's four. It's four o'clock. Unless pausing actually pauses the cycle. I that might be the case. If that is the case, I was not aware. Got bread. Oh, I should probably put a torch down there before something happens that I don't want to happen. What am I doing? Right hand side torches. I guess we'll mine a little bit. See if I can find some charcoal. Because that would be useful. Or at least try to get down to like a cave or something. Then again, I don't know if I want to go cave or strip mine. Because a cave opens up more... Oh, wait, what am I doing? I can do this in this version of Minecraft. Haha. -ha. Because I, a cave opens up more opportunity for danger, I think. <laughs> so, I, I just took a look in the upper left corner and I saw my FPS number. And it made me giggle a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of gravel. That's that's kind of annoying. Um, okay, I guess it kind of stops. Let's just not use my pick on it. Okay. Let's keep going then. Okay. Oh. I got like, oh, okay. I found iron already. That's a good start, I guess. I was going to say, I feel like I haven't accomplished much in this episode, but I found iron. So that actually is a very good starting place. The other thing is, with the woodland mansion that I saw, that's going to be very important, I think. So I feel like Mike did that intentionally when he picked the seed. Because there's, like, this totem thing. I know very little bit about woodland mansion, because I have not played a lot of 111. So uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. Oh, good, more iron. Um, but from what I saw in like the update videos that I watched, which was mainly like Captain Sparkles, there is this totem that basically, if you have it on you, if you or something like that, I'll have to do more research before I do my next couple of episodes or before I actually go to the end, where if you die. It'll bring you back to life, like, right where you were. So, basically, that'll give me 20 hearts to defeat the dragon. Oh, yeah, because I didn't really specify what the purpose of this was. Um, this Minecraft Hardcore Challenge does not end at the end of December. Um, it ends when either everyone is defeated, um, we as a community agree that the dragon has defeated us, or... I'll use the wood pick for a little bit here. Or... Um, one of us defeats the dragon in hardcore mode. Yes, it is as complex as it sounds. It's going to be a tough challenge, no doubt. What am I down to for a height? Well, I'm about 25, so I'm getting close to where I should be. Whoop. Um, let's do that, because I don't want to totally get rid of the lava. Because it might be useful later. If I end up wanting to go to the nether. Before I go to the end. Come on. I know you got it.
son of a gun. I'm gonna leave that for now. Um, I gotta remember there's a zombie down there, though. Okay. Well, you know, let's head back up. It's probably almost daytime anyways. Look at that iron smelting, I suppose. Probably be a good thing to do. Plenty of zombies. Yeah, I guess it's still... It's not too late. Or too early yet. <laughs> Just enough to smelt up all my iron. I think I should probably make an iron sword. Um, yeah, iron sword would be a good thing to make. Okay, so I found a cave system. Which, as I said, I'm not sure that's what I wanted to find. Might not be the best thing for me for surviving. And I do want to make another pick. I'm going to stick with stone for now. I should probably make more than one. But, alas, I will not. Um... Yeah, I'll stick with stone for now. Okay. Daytime is near. Let's see if I can finish off this one zombie. How have I not burned more hunger than that? I'm actually kind of confused. I feel like I should have burned way more hunger than that. Yeah, I'm gonna, for now, I don't want to get in too far over my head immediately, because I feel like that would lead to a bad time. So we're gonna do that for now. Come on, I put my torches in my hotbar. Yeah, we're going to do that and keep going, but it's probably daytime. Oh yeah, I broke this block, didn't I? Let's keep going here. If it's daytime, I'm probably a minute or two late already, because I think I see daylight through the door. Um, so I think... Oh, yeah, ha, I forgot, I can just check day number. It's daytime. I only just missed sun up, so that is where we will call it the episode. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, leave me your feedback down below. Let me know about the Woodland Mansions thing. Uh, that would be cool to learn. Um, if you are interested in competing in this challenge, I don't think it's too late. I think you could still get in. Um, I mean, obviously, you can still just play it anyways. But head on over to, I think it's youtube.com slash Games to see the announcement video for Mike Deering's uh, Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. Take a look at bigboxgamers.com. Take a look at the rest of the guys in Big Box. They're all really cool dudes. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out to grow. And um, that's about it. Sorry, I kind of deviated from my normal outro there. <laughs> like I said, it's been a long week. But um, we will see you guys in the next one. Happy Friday! That is all.